You might have heard us in several different videos talking about how to set up wide and getting on the high line. But how do you do it? Why do you do it? And where do you go about doing it? In this video, we're going to take a look at setting up wide, getting on that line, and it will allow you to find more flow on the trails. This turn is almost a perfect example of why you might want to go on the wide line and open it up. If you actually see when I'm walking up the straight line, it's quite rough, it's chopped out, and it brings you straight into the middle of the turn. You're not going to have much room to lean that bike over and really maneuver around the turn. If I just hop up onto this high line, you can actually see that there are three reasons why you might want to do it. You've got a better braking surface coming into it, it opens the turn right up so you've got a lot more space to turn on the bike and you can actually look ahead as well into the next section a lot earlier. You're going to carry your speed, you're going to have a lot more flow, but it's important to remember at some point you're going to hit that exact same rut that the low line takes you on. Getting onto that high line can be quite tricky. It requires a little bit of confidence and also some skill. If we come up a little bit further from that turn that we're just looking at, there's actually two different options for me to get onto that line. You can actually see and use this little lump a little pre-jump area and you can just hop onto that high line it's going to open up early and it's going to give you plenty of braking distance but there is a different option if you actually walk down the course a little bit further you're going to see that you can stick in this main line that would take you the low line and then you can actually just turn out of the rut itself and you can get onto that high line the only downside of that is that you could get caught up in that rut depending on the trail that you're riding it might move your wheels offline and you're not going to have as much space to brake and also to turn into the next turn. Sure. Looking at this section, there's two very obvious lines. There's a low line and the high line. However, yesterday we were watching from the side and we saw Nico Villiers absolutely hammer it down this high line, which is totally off track. It's not very easy to spot. And the best thing about line choice and getting high is that you can get really creative. It's hard to spot, so you want to be looking ahead and have that head right up. Coming into this turn down here, it's a 90 degree. It's not too short, but it's not that open. There's actually two lines. You're coming into it fast, and there's three steps coming down into the corner. If you actually go for the main line, which I'm stood in right now, what you're gonna find is the bike accelerates away from you as you drop into the turns. And you're not gonna be able to slow down in time for the turn. However, if you hop up here onto this high line what you're actually going to find is that using the gradient of the high line you're going to slow down a little bit the dirt's a lot better you've got more braking points it's going to open that turn right up for you and you're going to flow into the next section here we've got one classic alpine switchback you come into it quite fast it's really tight and it's 180 degrees turn so how are we going to tackle this well if you actually come onto the low line which is right where i'm stood you can see you're going to really struggle to make that turn. The higher up that you can get, you're going to open it up more, you're going to have more space to turn that bike. You can actually see that some of the best riders have been getting right up here on this bank. Now this is quite advanced, it's hard to get up here. You've really got to push the bike up and you could even involve that endo technique to swing that back wheel around. And when you do that, you're going to get the bike straight and you're going to set up and you're going to carry more flow. So how would you go about doing this? Well, my advice is to start low and just work your way up. It can be tricky to get up onto that banking. So just start by building in small steps, maybe find a switchback that you can practice on. And really just practice is the key to this. It's not just corners that that high or wide line can apply to. It's actually whole sections as well. If you take this one, for example, the low line might be more direct, but the high line, you're gonna carry more flow, more speed, and the turn that's just further down, you're actually gonna open that right up and you're going to carry it into the next section and you're going to be able to set up high again and you'll get a whole complete section of track flowing well. However, the high or the wide line isn't always the most direct or the fastest way. Here we have a perfect example of an inside line. So you can set up a little bit wide coming into it and then you can just go inside, inside and that's the fastest and most direct route. If you're all the way around there and then all the way around there as well, you'd be losing a lot of time and you wouldn't be anywhere near as quick. So there we go, that's it on how to set up wide and get up high. Remember, the three main points are to look ahead, look for good braking points, and set up as early as you can. Anyway, if you want to watch some more great videos on GMBN, why don't you click just up there on how to choose a line. If you click down there, you're going to get to how to endo around switchbacks. And if you click on that globe, 
then you get to subscribe and you get a great video every day of the week.